Hey there, um, my name's Quinn. I'm on the enterprise support team here at Loom, and I'm recording this quick video to show you three things. Um, first, I wanna show you how to change your default workspace to make sure that you are recording videos into your new team workspace. Um, the second thing is I wanna show you how to update information on your personal workspace, um, just so that it'll be a little bit more clear for you. And the third thing is how to transfer videos from your existing workspace into the team space that now exists, just to make sure that everything is exactly where it should be. Um, so first, I want to talk a little bit about why this is important. So if you are running into an issue where you don't have access to some of the benefits of your team workspace, or videos are being recorded um, and you aren't able to kind of easily share them into the team workspace, it could be that right now your default is set to a workspace that existed before you were a member of the team. So um, what I want to do first is talk about how to make your new team workspace the default. So right now we're in my Loom account. And in my Loom account, I am a member of multiple workspaces. So up in the top here, if you click on, and this is just at loom.com right when you log in. If you click on this box, it will show you all of the workspaces that you're a member of. And um, there's a chance that you are a member of multiple workspaces that share the same name as your company. So right now I have a Loom workspace, and then I also have this team workspace, and this is you know our personal account that we use here at the company. And and you can kind of tell the difference between them in this drop down because there's one here that I'm the only member of and the other one has a bunch of members. So what we want to do is make sure that this one with a bunch of members is the de default on the account. And you can change your default by clicking here on change default workspace. Now the only bit that can be a little bit confusing is that here you don't get that same information around the number of users in the account. So if you know that you are currently set with the wrong workspace as the default, you can always just click on the other one. Or if your um, check mark is next to something other than the team name, like maybe Quinn Bot's workspace, which is a personal one that I have, then you can select the correct one and hit save. Um, but what if you can't differentiate between those workspaces? So the second thing that I want to do is show you how to update your personal workspace's name. And this will work if you're an admin in that existing workspace. So the way to change the information so that you can easily differentiate between them is make sure that the workspace you want to change the information for is the one that's selected. And then click on settings. And in your workspace settings, you can just change the name right here. So I'm going to change this oops, to free because it is a uh, free account. And now when I go to change my workspace, it's really easy for me to differentiate between those two different accounts. So I know that this is the one that I want to select. It's my team workspace with the 120 something members in it. And I know that I will be recording videos into the right place in the future. So the last little bit is what if in this workspace that you had before you were recording videos and you want to make sure that those are moved into your team workspace. So the last thing that I want to show is how to move content to your team workspace. So to transfer content between workspaces, you'll click here on personal under settings and you can be on any workspace up at the top. And in your personal settings, if you scroll down, there's an option here that says My Workspace Content. And if you click on Get Started, you'll get this form where you can choose which workspace you want to move content from. And I want to move it from the workspace that we renamed to Loom Free into our enterprise workspace. And you have this option here. This will change the default workspace automatically um, if you hadn't followed that previous step. So if you hit Continue, here you'll be able to select which videos or which libraries you'd like to move. So I'm going to move everything and hit continue. This is just letting you know that with the team and shared libraries, since the videos will no longer be in the team library of the first workspace, it'll be moving them to the other one. So hit confirm. And once they're moved, you have the option to actually completely leave your existing workspace. And this is a great idea uh, just to make things simpler for you. Once you've moved all of the videos out there, there's no harm in leaving the workspace and then continuing to your account. 
So please let me know if you have any other questions. We are certainly here to help, and we really appreciate your time. Bye.